This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how does replay last relative work? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have the demo dog here loaded in, and he has a few subdivisions on him, so I'm up to around 2 million points. So the question is referring to replay last relative. So if I navigate to the stroke palette here, I'm just gonna dock this over to the side here, and then if I open up the modifiers tab, in here we have replay last and replay last relative. Now before I get into how replay last relative works, if you come across any buttons inside a ZBrush and you hold down control while you hover over them, you're going to get a tooltip. And this will contain information on how the function works. So here if I hover over replay last and hold down control, it's gonna tell you that replay last will retrace the last brush stroke. And then if I hover over replay last relative and hold down control, it's going to tell you that replay last will replay the last stroke anywhere on the mesh as long as the mesh is not rotated. So these little tool tips exist on any of the buttons inside a ZBrush, so just hover over them and then hold down control and you'll get a little more information on those features. Now the replay last and replay last relative buttons here have hotkeys assigned to them as well. And these are very useful when using these two functions. So if I hover over replay last, it has a hotkey of one. And if I hover over replay last relative, it's a hotkey of shift plus one. So let's first talk about replay last. So if I come across my dog model here and simply just generate a stroke, and then if I press one on my keyboard, which is going to use this replay last option, it's going to repeat that stroke on top of itself. So you can see as I press this, it's going to repeat that exact stroke I just did over and over again on my model. So you can see it's spiked this out quite a bit. So I'm just gonna undo that. So replay last is just going to replay the stroke you just did. Now replay last relative is going to replay the stroke but it's going to replay it wherever your cursor is on the screen here. So let's draw a little curly cue here out like so. And now this time I'm going to use shift one instead of just one. And I'm just gonna move my cursor to the back side of the dog here and then just press shift one. And you're gonna see it's going to replay that exact stroke right there on my model. So I can come through now and anywhere on this model, as long as I don't rotate it, if I press shift one, it's going to draw that stroke out. So this is really handy for coming through and repeating a stroke across the surface of a mesh here. So you can just go through and just keep pressing shift plus one and it's going to replay that stroke relative to where your cursor is. So the process again is just come through and make a stroke and you wanna make sure it's a constant stroke on your model. Then hover over to another area on your mesh without rotating your model and then press shift plus one and it will repeat that stroke. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.